Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Allen Cargo Trailer Model CZ2 that I bought. This trailer measures about 18 by 27 inches and I think it's the perfect size to haul around in. It can hold up to 70 pounds which is more than what I'm planning to haul with. My intention of buying this is not to be used on a bike but on my Herbert One Pioneer Electric Scooter. Everything can be nicely packaged in the trailer itself. The trailer has a metal frame with a fabric body. It comes with an elastic cargo net to help contain and prevent all your stuff from flying off your trailer. It comes with two 12 inch pneumatic tires that will need to be pumped up to 25 to 30 psi. The wheels has two safety reflectors which I think is a nice safety feature. The tires seem to have some nice grippy tire. And if you look closely it has a fish design which I thought was amusing. Next we have here the tow bar with the coupler. The metal seemed durable and solid and seemed like it will hold up well. Next we have here the tow bar foot that attaches to the tow bar so you can use it as a cart. All the screws and clips ties onto the trail itself so you don't have to worry about misplacing them. The rear has a red reflector with the logo running across the back. The fabric seems tough and strong but I have to see how well it will hold up with normal use. The bottom has a plastic sheet support which I think I may reinforce with some metal bars. Installation is pretty easy. First you need to install the wheel which is quick and simple. The wheels just lie in like so and there is a clip on the underside of the trailer that we use to lock the wheels into place. The tow bar just slide in and you will use the provided clip to lock it into place. You will use the knob to screw and lock the bar into the desired position. Here's the tow bar foot that you can attach if you plan to use this as a cart. Next we need to install the coupler onto the scooter. This coupler will go on the left side of the scooter. Installation is quick and easy. First we will need to remove the reflector. With the reflector removed you will notice two little holes in the middle. I will be using the hole on the top. The hole will be a lot smaller than this. I had to make the hole bigger to fit the machine scooter that I used. If you force a screw in it will easily make the thread into the frame as the frame is made of aluminum. This way you won't need to use a drill. My plan is to make two cut on the reflector to accommodate the coupler. Put on the trail is quick and easy and only take a few seconds. The tow hook will go over the coupler and you will use a pin to lock into place. The scooter can move side to side very easily without any pressure to the scooter or tow bar. The tow bar provides the perfect amount of play and movement for the screw to make almost a 90 degrees turn. I'm surprised at how nicely this curl fit on this scooter. It fits so perfectly that it seemed like it was designed for it. Taking the trail off is as easy as putting it on. Once you take it off you can attach a tow foot so you can roll it around as a cart.
I took it for a test run, but notice how low the front end look. I went ahead and removed the stand and hem knob. To get the trolley to sit higher, instead of screwing the tow bar onto the trailer, I just let it sit on top of the screw. This is temporary and I'm gonna have to modify the tow bar so it sit higher. This trailer is pretty cool in my opinion. With a 12 inch inflated tire, the trailer is smooth and quiet so you hardly notice that you have a trailer attached behind you. The scooter performs normally with the speed and turns. Braking still feels the same but once your trailer get heavy I'm sure you have to brake harder to get to a complete stop. With the amount of play that the trailer gives you, maneuvering obstacle also shouldn't be too much of a problem with this trailer attached. This trailer will be perfect to take to the beach or just to haul your stuff around on trips. The trailer can easily carry this 15 pound box like nothing. Although max weight is 70 pounds, I probably wouldn't put anything heavier than 40 pounds on it, as it may wear down the fabric quicker. This pack will weigh 40 pounds and you can start feeling the weight pulling you back. I was still able to get up to 15 miles per hour with this trailer behind me. With the trailer attached, I would recommend going faster than 10 miles per hour, only for safety reasons. Overall, I think this is a great small trailer, especially if you're going to attach it onto a scooter. I'm planning to take this trailer on my next trip to Santa Cruz, so I will update you guys on how this trailer performed. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I made more video coming up soon so you don't want to miss out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.